Friends, welcome to our elements where we discuss the depths of a lost and ancient psychology of the imagination. This is somewhat of a, a new kind of an introduction, I think, uh, to imagination internal and the internal alchemy of information transfer. I, I don't know who have uh, taken the trouble uh, to read and study the works of say Paracelsus or uh, even earlier people on the the, um, the alchemy of medieval times and with concepts like conjunction, soul, luna, etc., etc., and there, which is kind of a, a little of a, a bit of a difficulty um, and and a grapple um, and obscure. Um, and my my own conclusion out of that um, attempt to study it, I would say is that it is really your our awareness our inner awareness that's the philosopher's stone this internal alchemy of that we are treating of here is the coming about as it were of the the true philosopher of of Plato of actually um, of the work of Proclus. It is the discovery of self through contemplation, study, and prayer. In this video. We are going to look at the summit of this ancient alchemy, which we find in the works of Proclus, and particularly in his commentaries, very obscure, nobody really talks about this, um, in his commentaries on the Parmenides. Parmenides um, is one of the dialogues of Plato. Um, Parmenides himself precedes Plato and he follows from Pyth Pythagoras or Pythagoras, who has a very interesting um, fourfold theory of um, the difference, different orders of vortices. who are the fountains of world formation. You could have knocked me over when I uh, first came across this in a, one of Thomas Taylor's translations, that, that there actually is a very ancient notion of tiny vortices and supermassive ones, um, and vortices that are not, that, that are above Mm, shall we say the material world very interesting so Plato really follows this whole lineage from Hermes uh, pre-Egyptian Atlantis um, so this next video is addressing the summit very high summit of this ancient internal alchemy of intellectual projection, internal intellectual projection, which is a fascinating concept that I first discovered in the work of Proclus in a letter he writes to Theodorus the Mechanist, 
who, who inquires about these things and there he talks about internal intellectual intuition and this is not the intuition of um, I think uh, of the of dualism Plato has one world unified world philosophy theology actually um, so what is the significance then of the why would I take the trouble to do all these videos uh, which when someone looks at it for the first time they say well I, I don't understand this well it's because it's been um, kept in obscurity by <clears throat> I want to say mm, um, people who perhaps didn't understand uh, this is a big statement or, or, or deliberately I've seen this deliberately uh, rejects uh, and belittles um, these philosophers, these, this theology, uh, mainly because it doesn't, um, it contradicts. Uh, in fact, I'm starting to think that this theology is in terms of opposing forces um, to which uh, Ian McGilchrist very um, elegantly refers in his discourses on brain hemispheres. Um, that these actually are opposing mm, psychologies uh, and so my point being that uh, denying the opposition <laughs> it, it really makes you poor and that's what we have today we have a poverty of viewpoints because we want to mm, cancel those with whom we disagree. We, we take down their videos uh, or, or, or from platforms uh, with a, not, it's in the AI does it, I mean it's we, we don't have to have hands on anymore. Um, so yes there, there has been the forgottenness uh, for instance uh, the poets um, Yeats and Blake uh, have had Thomas Taylor as um, a, a spiritual teacher um, um, in their time. Uh, no, uh, nobody really says anything about about this when they talk about Blake's interesting poetry. When you look at my icons, I dare say that they were similarly inspired, um, particularly based in the geometry of the commentaries of Proclus on the geometry of Euclid, which is equally obscure. So uh, here we have um, a lost psychology of the alchemy of internal information transfer and it not only perta pertaining to the formation of our physical or this physical world that we can perceive with our eyes which we will in this video coming um, will explain uh, try and uh, um, uh, explain by uh, with our icons um, the the the, um, the fountains um, the living vibrations, the living resonant fountains of formation who are all living living vibrations, um, angelic orders. Um, interesting how we don't talk about this either. The soul, imagination, the vehicle of the soul, Homer's boat, the carriage of Elijah, these all had significance in the depths of time which we have lost I think. So this is our video that follows, uh, we hope you find this, um, it finds you well, you probably have to watch it a few times, um, um, I, I will provide all the links for those who might be interested in reading around these works 
who, whose design is for the advancement of humanity, um, advancing to the good. Uh, and and the, uh, the viewpoint of um, our icons specifically um, alludes to an, an uh, interconnected evolution and involution similar to that of David Bohm. We hope this video finds you well. Um, if there, please leave a comment, subscribe. Um, soon I, I hope I can start a, a podcast that I would like to call The Inner Port um, in a elucidation and uh, in, in, uh, talk more freely about Hopefully we can have discussions with each other um, about this lost psychology, this beautiful view of living, a living lumin luminous world that that is living, breathing, resonating world. We hope to see you around, watching, and commenting on the next video. Have fun.